and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for another gauntlet we're gonna be doing two gauntlets today uh we have our first two donation decks which i know it's kind of hard to read over here on the left uh the heimer puff caps are about to play and then ezreal swain right afterwards uh these two were, were decks that were kind of donated um that they uh the person they donated for them, went through the gauntlet, won seven games, and won to, to see it on stream. So we're we'll playing two gauntlets. Uh, the, this is the last day, as you can see, the gauntlets ended 15 hours. And then we're going to have our uh, meme tier Monday decks, uh, which we only got two meme tier Monday decks this week. Um, we got a deck called Shiraza Dragon and a deck called Ethereal Magician. Those should both be uh, very fun. But first, we got Heimer Puffcap. So back to our deck. Um, this deck is a deck that's uh, basically using Heimerdinger and Teemo, <laughs> combining those two together. But we're going to be just trying to give our opponent a whole lot of puff caps. Uh, probably the most important card in our deck is going to be like Puff Cap Peddler. Uh, planting, we're going to play a bunch of spells, get a bunch of random stuff, get them a bunch of puff caps, and try to burn them out in the late game with um, drawing puff caps. And then also paired with some burn spells as well. We have things like Veteran Investigator that after we give them a whole bunch of puff caps, then we can play this and then make them draw an extra card. But yeah, our randomness. We have Trail of Evidence, Flash of Brilliance, Back Alley Barkeep, all these things that are creating some random cards for us. Um, that uh, you know that that uh, will sometimes be sometimes be great, other times not. Not so much. That's why we got our get excited. So we can discard. Um, but basically, all those, those kind of th spells we can just use with Heimerdinger to just create some turrets and uh, kind of outgrind the opponent with our couple Heimerdingers. Got some uh, card advantage with progress day. Just other good removal spells, Withering Will, Gotcha, that kind of stuff. Looks pretty interesting. We we got Arachnid Horror, which is like our our two drop that we want to be playing on turn two to hopefully get some fearsome damage in before they can block it uh, make it easier to burn them out um but yeah that's this is our this is our deck uh gonna be some fun stuff I, I like playing puff caps i like back alley barkeep we're doing some fun stuff so we're gonna be playing through a gauntlet we're gonna see if we can win seven before we lose two in a row okay so here we go uh we did two gauntlets yesterday so we've done two gauntlets um the first one we got to the final boss and lost because the when you get to the the um when you have six wins and you're trying to get your seven you only get one shot to win hey shreeb and uh and then the second one we got to the final boss again and we won all right, Braum Anivia. So I'm going to keep the two mana cards. We're going to get rid of the gotcha. And progress day isn't bad, but I just don't really like keeping eight mana cards in the opening hand. Nothing really wrong with progress day. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> We're playing turn one Teemo. Don't kill my Teemo. Hey, Rovin, good morning. Yeah, so that's a really nice Arachnid Horror with that Fearsome, because, you know, they, they're playing Omen Hawks, Avarosan Sentries early. That's really nice, having Elusive and Fearsome. Good combination. This will take the chill off. Okay, we'll just go ahead and attack. And I think I'm just going to be playing the Chump Womp. Now I can cast a Mushroom Cloud and level up Teemo. <clears throat> I'll just wait on that, but that, that's an option. 
that can kind of have like a surprise level up that maybe they won't be seeing maybe they won't see it coming i mean it's it's all visually in play so they should see it coming but you never know okay and i'm gonna wait i'm not gonna kill these things yet we want to kill these things after we get them even more puff caps right and then, then we force them to draw all right we'll play eager apprentice can i help Hey, Snappy. They're just passing. Alright, I think I'm gonna go to combat again. Basically, I wanted to kind of be in combat while I was playing these. Don't kill my Teemo. Come on, Teemo. I could definitely see them having Fury of the North. That's a card that they usually play. And so it could be that they are debating between Fury of the North. I don't think there's any two cost card in my regions. I might as well cast this. Yuck. It's gonna be a discard. Yuck. Yeah, Timo Heimerdinger. Um. So they got nineteen puff caps. Basically, I didn't really want to... Like, if I if I play Sump Dredger and discard Flame Chompers, then they could have, like... You know, they have some kind of, like, sweeper that, that clears this up. <clears throat> I kind of want to just have the Flame Chompers just save it for Get Excited, honestly. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops. Am I right? All right, I'm going for it. I'm just gonna burn them. These resolve with the puff cap peddler in play. This will give them six more puff caps, so they'll have 23. So almost one per card. They'll draw two cards. Hey, Super Z. Welcome. YouTube viewer checking in. Uh, so they did all the, the card. They wanted to do all their card draw before I gave them more puff caps. It's all that kind of card draw. All right, 25 and 21. Let's go. Yeah, nothing with someone this turn. <laughs> Does he know? Yeah, that's good. There we go. Heimer Puff Caps.
GG's. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be an aggressive. Sejuani, Garen. Okay, uh, we're gonna get rid of Withering Whale. Um, I think I'm gonna keep Trail of Evidence to go with the Peddler. That does sound kind of an intriguing uh, for potential um, two spells to play with the Puffcat Peddler. So I'm just hoping they don't have challengers, right? Like I'm hoping, like they obviously don't have Fiora, but I'm hoping no, like Laurent Protege, These old eyes still see nothing like that. Name. Dude, maybe, maybe this high, this kind of not high. Sorry, maybe this kind of like Teemo Puffcap deck. Maybe this is the answer to all these Avarosan sentries everywhere. Avarosan sentry is a really popular card. They're out there. I'll spawn. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. <laughs> I'll have what he's having. Um. I've always been a fun guy. Eh, that card's kind of useless. <clears throat> I'll just. Uh, I mean, I could have cast it and then leveled up. Teemo, so it's not that useless, but I'm just gonna save it to discard to get excited. Happy to do whatever's needed. Here we go. <clears throat> Safety first. Hey, Super Z, getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Kitty Dexterity. Our first sub of the day. For a viewer coming over from YouTube. Hey, high tech. I'm doing good. <laughs> Yesterday, your opponent had three Avros and Sentries on turn four. We were pretty close to that. Pretty close to that. All right, that was, this was probably just a bad turn by me. This is probably a bad turn by me. I'm a mushroom. I'm three. They heard about you. My heart and sword for Demosis. Huh, Ruination? Ruination could be good. All right, just gonna play this to give him six pop caps. So we can only save three mana. So they're at 23 puff caps right now, so this will give him to 46. I can cast, could cast Get Excited, which would give him 12. Basically, yeah, so this would give him 12 puff caps, so it'd make it 58. Now, I'm just gonna go like this. Because I, I kind of feel like I may need to Ruination this next turn. We got 46. And then, of course, they, they will draw... Uh, more... Yeah, I think I think I just cast Ruination, honestly. I'm I know, I'm sorry, Teemo. I think this is the play. Hmm. I guess I don't have to. Make your poison. A mushroom tea up on the rocks. Glimpse Beyond was pretty sweet. Core deck! <laughs> me. There they go. 
That was pretty great that they only attacked with that and didn't attack with anything else. Um... They're at 50 puff caps. Draw those puff caps. Two. Okay, okay. We're getting there. Down to ten. Ooh, elusive could be nice. I think we should have this. Yeah, the Devo emote is perfect for this deck. So they're at 60 puff caps. You want to draw a card? That's not bad drawing cards, right? Drawing cards is good. Draw more cards. Go ahead. You don't want these Avarosan sentries getting in combat? Why not? Hmm. All right, get excited. We'll level up Garen. <laughs> Not gonna let them, Garen. Not gonna let them do that. I mean, obviously it happens afterwards, but the game's already over. You gotta do the can't touch this. <laughs> And three puff caps at a time. So that's why puff cap peddler is so important. <laughs> All right, that this next one's starting off well. It's starting off well. need to work on your jumping, puppy. Not that difficult of a jump for you. Puppy. And Harvey. Alright, so we're gonna definitely keep Teemo. Um, we're gonna get rid of one eager apprentice and get rid of that for now. <laughs> yeah, it was the speedrun strat to get rid of, to not let them get the Garen flip. Alright, five puff caps. I like turn one Teemo every game. Seems really pretty good. I'm on it. I'm on it. And I don't think I... Well, I could Mystic Shot this to save more life. I don't think I do. I think we just play the Puff Cap Peddler. That gets to... Um, it gets to block that thing. And save the Mystic Shot to go along with the Peddler. I'm worried about the 3 mana 4-3. Yeah, that thing. That's why I wanted to go to attacks first. And that's the card that I was worried about the most. Everything's better with company. Says 
that's you. Take your poison. A mushroom tea. Uh, on the rocks. Uh, I'm gonna help too much. Four three is gonna be is the biggest problem. I mean, I guess so. Let's see. I could we could Splinter Soul our Puff Cap Peddler. Or, I mean, heck, even Splinter Souling a back alley barkeep's not so bad. Huh. A little surprised they're attacking him with those things. Well, at least, yeah. I don't know. Good. Been looking for, you know, I've been playing these back alley barkeeps looking for removal for Solitary Monk. Looks like they're just going to be too aggressive for us. Their hand was quite good. Need to find removal. All right, got a gotcha. There we go. Absorb souls, not bad either. Sure hoping they don't have a trick and this just works because it's really difficult for us to beat any trick. Oh. Okay, well that's not so bad. They should they should have definitely saved the solitary monk and then dealt like if they would have put on the solitary monk I was dead like they just had lethal because that dealt two to me the solitary monk dealt six they literally had lethal with me having zero mana okay um. I think I'm gonna go with the two uh, peddlers. Should have done my thinking emo. We'll definitely attack before they play something else. Get the six damage in. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping Absorb can keep me alive next turn. That's what I'm hoping. Not a guarantee. Excuse you! Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the only thing I can do. Dang. Like, gave me a chance. I didn't do a very good job of drawing removal. Yeah, I drew zero of my... Zero, I drew zero Mystic Shots, zero Get Excited, and zero Gotchas. We have eight of those in the deck, and we drew zero. No, check that. I did draw a Mystic Shot. We cast a Mystic Shot on Green Clay Duo. Never mind. We had we had one Mystic Shot. Early on in the game. We really need a Gotcha. Those four, those four threes. Gotta have those Gotchas. Thresh Gangplank. Okay, getting rid of those... I'll keep this card. So they're going to be a deck that's going to be... Uh, it's going to have a lot more removal, especially like one damage removal. I just don't really feel like the two ones are doing a lot for me. Oh, well, we still get one. It's fine, you know, it's on curve. It doesn't take any mana. Maybe it eats a removal spell. But if they're gonna have, you know, like they're gonna have like their withering whales and. Um, in coins and yeah. Make it rains, all that kind of stuff. They would just kill it immediately with doing damage to other things. That's why I mulligan to the card. Packed them good. Asking for me. Don't stand in my way. I'll buy us some time. No, I don't know any kind of bug, a keg bug with gangplank. I don't know anything about that. This game doesn't have like best decks like that. Like, there's not a best deck to get seven wins in a gauntlet, in my opinion. I, I don't think like it's a really good, really great aspect of this this uh, game. You can ask that question to five people, get five different answers, depending on what you're comfortable with. You know, like what you play well, what you enjoy, like all that kind of stuff. Like it changes. Chariot? Well, that's not gonna do anything ever. I'm just gonna save it to discard to get excited if we find a get excited. Oh, of course, my very next card's happening here. Of course, of course. I got ways to find me mushrooms. They got 21 puff caps. Not bad. We do need to get rid of this thresh. Of 
Perfect. It's a good card at getting rid of Thresh. Alright, so we'll kill the Thrash before they kill both of our things. What they wanted to do. quite the problem. Um, when Prime calls, a reply is proper. Yeah, we're going to a low life total. I don't think they'll be able to kill Heimerdinger with three mana. I mean, they could. I don't think so. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and play Heimerdinger. I think it's safe. I could have just cast this and and transformed those. I'm not sure if I want to progress day or if I want to go trail of evidence and mushroom cloud. It's not it's not using that much mana. Maybe I should have just gone to heck, transmogulator atrocity. I probably just clicked okay too fast. Hmm. Would have still lost if I would have played Progress Day. It, Progress Day would not have saved us at all. All right, so there we go. Went two and two. Um, couple, you know, good good hands there for the opponents. Um, yeah, like they they just had you know they just had really good stuff every single turn. So, GGS, they got us. Um, pretty fun deck to play though. Got got all like the the randomness, which uh, sometimes helps you out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but yeah, it's fun, fun to, fun to play a lot of these cards. You know, you know, your games aren't, aren't the same. They're never the same. And 
I I myself really like Puffcat Peddler decks. I think that's a lot of fun giving them giving them just a whole bunch of puff caps over time with Puffcat Peddler and uh, trying to burn them out with the puff caps. Uh, I like that a lot more than just like using Teemo as like a one drop in a in a burn deck. That's that's not very exciting. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's that's Heimer puff caps. Um, all right. Uh, Let's see. All right, so we're going to be playing one more Gauntlet with our next deck with Ezreal Swain, and then we're going to be playing our other meme tier decks. We're just going to be playing five games for them like normal. Uh, those of y'all watching this video later on, try this deck out. Let me know how it goes over there. Make sure uh, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, this is definitely one that I, that I would definitely play in my spare time. This is it's a deck with a lot, of, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of randomness. Uh, this is pretty, pretty fun deck. All right. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.